Sundara Rai joins in with an interesting twist in the tale because now Naresh Goyal says that he's committing to funding 700 crore rupees in jet. Uh, Naitana, I'll just walk us through what exactly is he planning to do? It's very clear that the founder and chairman of Jet Airways is uh, going to do all he can to retain control and be remain a promoter of the airline, the cash-strapped airline. So even as the largest lender, SBI, has ordered a forensic audit, uh, you know, for the last couple of years, and we saw a high-profile meeting for the lenders to try and arrive at a rescue plan for Jet Airways, the Rish Goyal just yesterday on January 16th, has written a letter to the SBI top boss, uh, the chairman, Rajneesh Kumar, uh, saying he's committed to infusing 700 crore rupees and pledging all of his shares with lenders, but with conditions. Uh, the condition is that Naresh Goyal's stake should not fall below 25%. You know, it's very interesting, considering you've now even seen Jet Airways admit to the stock exchanges that it's... Uh, not making good on the payments and has defaulted. Naresh Goel is still making uh, demands and putting conditions towards the lenders uh, for capital infusion into the airline. Is it an interesting time too? Because uh, uh, the joint, other joint venture partner, Etihad, has offered to lenders that is willing to infuse more than $200 million, but it wants to increase its stake. So obviously what you're seeing is uh, Naresh Goel protect his stuff at the risk of his stake falling down in favor of Etihad Airlines Airways. So in a sense, trying to block Etihad. Uh, what Naresh Goyal has said is that he will commit to that 700 crore rupee ca uh, capital infusion and pledging of shares, like I said, subject to shareholding remaining at 25%. Within his letter accessed by ET now, he describes as fair and equitable and goes on to say he will still do this, provided SEBI promises an exemption from uh, triggering the takeover code of allowing Naresh Goel to increase his stake, just in case it does fall below 25%. So interesting days ahead. How is this going to be accepted by the lenders, by the regulators as well, you know, with uh, Naresh Goel invoking SEBI at a time when you have seen a lot of companies in default headed to NCLT? Is that just a matter of time? Okay, thanks very much for giving us the latest details. Yes, it is interesting times for Jet Airways. and uh, with